Hi, welcome to ESP8266 tutorial from Robojax. My name is Ahmad Shamshiri. In this video, I, we're going to learn how to use this HT16K33 4-digit 7-segment display with Node MCU, WMS D1 Mini to display integer, integer with leading zeros, negative integer, float value with decimal point, float with three decimal point, float with negative value, full float with one decimal point, and clock, hexadecimal value, and then dim it, set the brightness at any level between 0 to 15 value. You can get the data sheet and other files related to this by clicking at the link below the video in the description, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started with this. This module works with 5 volts. I've reviewed the data sheet and full explanation of this in separate video. The link is below the video. But for this video, we can just say that this is 5 volts. And the, the next pin is the ground. This is SDA pin for I square C communication. And the last one is SCL pin for I square C communication. How to use this HT16 K33 with ESP32. This ESP8266 node MCU, the small one, because we have this large one and the small one, this is 4.5. The VN pin also give you 4.5 volts, which we will test to show you that it will work. On this large one, the pin that says VV or VU, that is the 5 volts. I've connected the two wire here and that's 5 volts. On this type of D1 Mini, we have 5 volts here at this side. The last pin is 5 volts. This will work also with Node MCU ESP8266 small version, or if you have this larger version, uh, just pay attention to VN for the small one as 5 volts. And in this one, then use this VV or VU pin on this side for 5 volts. And for ground, use any of the ground. And here, for SDA and SCL, D2 is SC, SDA and D1 is SCL. Larger module, D2 again is here, SDA and that one is SCL. So SDA, SCL. So 5 volts, ground, SDA, SCL. Now let me explain the code. The first thing you need to do is install the library, go to Tool, Manage Libraries, wait for this screen to complete, this bar graph, type here HT16, K33, and wait for this, and as you can see, HT16, K33 by, by Rob Tellard, and this is the one I, I've installed it you will see install button here, just click and install. It will work with Node MCU, ESP8266, ESP32 and Arduino. So this library works with everything. And this is the address for the library if you want to download it. This line says include the library and from the class of library we create a, an object called segment and we pass the I square C address. And this is uh, 0x70, that's hex value. By default, this is a value. If you want, you can change it. For example, if you want to use two or three of these, I have a separate example. The link is below the video. You can change, with, give different address to each module. And start and stop, this is the example for the code. This is an array that is used for example, not needed. This is, we are initializing the serial monitor to display the text. If I click on Tools, Serial Monitor, that number must match. If you go to the bottom, on the right side, select 115,200. Then you will be able to display the text if you want. Segment.begin initializes the 7-segment uh, display. This is setting the I2C address. This is turning the display on. 
segment dot display on this is setting the number of digits set digits and this is just printing the text this is running test six times test is the code that runs every segment and different uh, numbers will appear so if you want it to be quick just make it one and it will run one time and display off will turn it off because some of the segments that have been turned on here we must turn them off give it here one second you can make it very quick 100 millisecond and then turn the display on back and then we turn the colon off initially display colon false if you want to display it set it to true true with lowercase and inside the loop we set the number of digits to one and then so all the digits are turned off and then we when we put 64 it will turn it on for us so we give it five seconds to display 64 and then set the digit to four and now we set 64 now this 64 with this 64 the difference is that we will see two digits on the left side when it is displayed because we set it to four and this line says digit to one again we start from minus 74 give it five seconds and here when you display float you say display float with a decimal value and one means one decimal place so uh, you do not have more value if we say three then after five we will see two more so total three decimal place will be displayed even if you don't have value and this is for the negative value just put negative uh, with a three decimal place this is a, a four digit with one decimal place and then we turn it off keep it one second and then turn it on set the digits to two and then minus one this is displaying display time this is for the time 18 the time eight time eight, 18 hours and 25 minutes and then display colon and keep it on for three seconds then turn off the colon the display colon one display colon zero and then here it says set, set digits we set it to one and this is a for loop that starts from minus 300 it goes up to 299 every time with a increment of plus seven starts from minus 300 it goes seven up until it reaches 299 and every time whatever is this counter will be displayed on the screen give it 100 milliseconds so the loop will go and then this displays the hex value when you say display hex you put zero x with a hexadecimal value it will be displayed for three seconds for example we go from uh, 15 decremented up to zero and this is the hexadecimal value and also when whatever is i from 0 to 15 when you say brightness i this i can be from 0 to 15 so 0 is turned off from 1 to 15 or different level of brightness which i'm going to demonstrate it and give it 500 millisecond and here it, it says that brightness to 15 which is maximum so this is the full explanation of the code I've uploaded the code let me demonstrate it and show you so I'm gonna reboot this by pressing this reset button here it showed the test five times and then we set it to one decimal point and display 64 now four decimal four digits because we have leading zeros again the same 64 and then one digit with minus 74 and then one decimal point 33.5 and then three decimal point will be displayed like that and then minus 12.6 here three decimal point will not have any effect and then one decimal point as you can see and then we turn it off one second and then turn it on and then with two decimal point we want to display with two digits and then we set it as a clock and after that this is just a counter <coughs> it goes from minus 300 to 300 and then this is hexadecimal value and then we go displaying hexadecimal with the highest brightness we go up to zero and then decimal, the brightness is set to 15 for five seconds and then one for five seconds you can see it it's very dim and then we set it to 10 
So as you can see in the test, if I turn it off, you will see this segment. So you can turn on and off any segment in any way you want. And we have example for all of those with a library. I'm now working on writing code for to build internet clock for ESP32 and uh, Node MCU D1 Mini. Uh, this will be published. The link is below the video in the description. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can use the D1 Mini ESP8266 Wi-Fi module with the LCD screen. We're going to use the LCD1602 or LCD2004, which are using only four wires to connect it to the device. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how we can use the Node MCU or D1 Mini ESP8266 to control stepper motor 28BYJ48 over the Wi-Fi. When I touch it counterclockwise, the motor rotates in counterclockwise, and I can stop it. I can go to clockwise now or without stopping, I can jump to the other direction from this module. Let's control the motor. As you can see, it is responding very well. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can control a DC motor using L2988 module with Node MCU uh, D1 Mini ESP8266 over the Wi-Fi. We will going to have two buttons to increase the speed the motor will speed up or we will slow it down from the mobile phone very responsive 100 percent 